Flight attendants and commercial pilots of Reddit, what's the most obnoxious thing someone has ever done on one of your flights? I've been trapped in an airport for 12 hours, with the chaos I have witnessed, y'all must have some good stories. Edit, front page, laughing face, thanks for keeping me from clawing my eyes out, everyone. I'm a pilot. Obviously the last few days have been a zoo, and Chicago has been hellish. We were going from Chicago to Milwaukee and back and then we were done with a four day trip, so we were definitely wanting to get on with it and go home. We were all boarded and waiting for the de-ice truck to come spray us because it was snowing. After waiting for over an hour for the truck, they finally spray us down and we start pushing back. As we are pushing, the flight attendant calls up and tells us there's a lady that wants to get off the airplane. We tell her we can't, so the lady then tells the flight attendant that her baby is having a medical emergency and has to get off. Fine. We pull back up to the gate and let her off, the baby looks fine mind you, and ask her if she needs paramedics. She denies medical attention and refused to take the baby to the clinic that is literally 50 feet away. They had checked bags, so we had to call rampers to dig through the cargo hold to find their bags. Finally, we had them off and we were getting ready to go again, about two hours late at this point. As we were getting ready to close the door, the gate agent ran up and said that when the lady found out that we were the last flight up to Milwaukee, she begged to get back on the airplane and come with us. The captain and I looked at each other in shock, told the gate agent there was no way in hell she was getting back on the airplane, and got out of there. TL, DR lady feigns her child's illness to get off the airplane. After delaying the flight for hours, she then wants to get back on and come with us. My dad was on a flight to got somewhere for vacation. Everyone was well into the flight when this guy in a nice suit had this liquid pouring onto him from the overhead cabin. The guy screamed out, what the hell is this, and without missing a beat this little old lady with a thick southern accent says, Doss my shrimp. Mind. You this was pre 9-11, so she was somehow able to get frozen shrimp on a plane. Rough day for that guy. To which he replied, this scompy happening. I was flying on standby once to visit a friend in Mississippi, leaving Des Moines. The flight was booked, leaving at 5.45 am. I was hoping that since it was so early, someone might miss an alarm and not make it so I could take their seat. Well no such luck. I was bummed while watching the last lady being wheelchaired to the plane. The security told the lady at the gate that this wheelchaired lady was both drunk and high, and it was up to the gate lady if she should be allowed on the plane. The gate lady said if she can walk down the terminal to the plane without falling, she could fly. I watched in such anticipation, guiltily hoping she would fall so I could take her seat. And right when she was almost to the plane, she face planted. And I got her seat. Edit, the lady was in a wheelchair because she was too drunk slash high to walk. Edit 2, I know this story seems far-fetched but I kid you not. When I first saw this wheelchair lady, I assumed she was mentally retarded. When I overheard the security tell the gate agent lady about her condition, I was shocked. I have no idea why they had to wheelchair her to the gate and still see if she was sober enough to fly, but afterwards when she realized she couldn't get on the plane, she was very upset. I used to work for an airline which meant I got to fly for free as a standby passenger. This is called non-revving, non-revenue passenger. So this one day I'm taking a flight to New York as a non-rev and there is a girl from our airline who worked as a gate agent on there with a bunch of her friends. Non-revving is a delicate thing sometimes, there are a lot of rules that the airline makes you follow so you don't tarnish their image, I almost got denied entry once because I wasn't wearing dress shoes. These girls get boarded and immediately start acting like stupid bitches. It's warm in the plane so clearly the APU hasn't been connected to allow the plane power to run the AC. As soon as the APU is connected and activated the AC is turned on and something starts blowing out the vents. At this point the plane is fully boarded but people are still putting shit in the overheads and stuff. What looks like steam or dust or mist or something starts coming out these vents and one of the stupid girl's friends decides to shout, jokingly, fire. There's a fire on the plane. On a fully. Boarded. Flight. Needless to say the flight attendants did not find this hilarious and they were all escorted off. When I was flying night helicopter strip tours up and down the Vegas Strip, despite the video briefing which mentioned several times that no flash photography was permitted and my own verbal briefing mentioning this again, 
people would regularly take flash photos during the flight. It just blows my mind that people would think it's okay to temporarily blind the pilot who's flying them. Right after the first flash went off I would have screamed, ah. <laughs> Oh my god I'm blind. Then I would wildly shake the chopper. I would have taken my hands off the controls and clutched my face screaming I can't see. We're all gonna die. Nothing like an impromptu auto-rotation to remind your passengers of the importance of a fully functioning pilot. Not a flight attendant, just an obnoxious passenger. When I was about 8 I flew to the US for the first time from England before finally moving here a year and a half later. This flight took off at about 10pm, so it was an overnight, and as an 8 year old, I got bored about halfway through and couldn't sleep. The flight was only about half full, so I started exploring. About five or six rows up, not at all in first class, was a fairly large gentleman who was still awake, and there was no one else around, so I started talking to him. He was friendly, and told jokes, and had candy, and the flight attendant kept on bringing us drinks and peanuts long after they stopped even looking at everyone else, which was cool. They also kept on apologizing to him, and asking if he wanted them to make me leave him alone, which I thought was funny. Some time later, I ended up falling asleep next to him, and he got me a blanket, and let me rest. When I woke up, my mother was apologizing profusely and was dragging me off him and ushering me to the back of the plane, both my parents smoked and this was the 80s. When we got back there, she scolded me for embarrassing her, and then didn't talk to me for the remainder of the flight, she was grumpy like that. As we were getting off the plane he came over and told my mother that it was okay, and that I kept him entertained, and that he hates flying by himself, and then he gave me a hug and signed something for her. It wasn't till a few years later that she finally explained to me that the guy from the plane was Meatloaf. Still to this day my coolest, I met a celebrity, story, especially when he hit it big again a few years later and I could actually put some substance behind who he was. Edit, thank you, kind stranger for the gold, that is amazing, it's extra special, cuz I was, until now, a gold. I'm just really glad that one of my favorite memories, and one that has been told to death at family gatherings, has brightened some people's day. My father was a pilot and my mother was a flight attendant. I've always said my mom should write a book. In the 1960s, my mom's route was La New York and back, first class cabin, so it always had a famous person or two, actors were always the worst for her. Most notable was being manhandled by Robert Gullett as he proceeded to tell the whole plane that he had with her, didn't happen. After my mom asked Lucille Ball what she would like to drink, Lucille Ball replied, I don't talk to servants. Johnny Carson was also an a-hole to flight attendants. He would put a sign on his seat which read, yes I am him, no I don't want a drink. My mom also said that musicians were always the most kind. Her favorites were Jim Morrison and the Mamas and the Pappas. She always said, if they seemed nice on TV they usually weren't. And those who had the worst reputations were usually the nicest. My dad didn't interact with passengers so he didn't have any good stories. The only thing he talked about was ferrying football teams. Whenever he hauled John Madden's Raiders, they'd have to double up on flight meals because if a player played well, Madden would give that player two meals. My mother who studied acting in college, yet ultimately went on to manage Marriott hotels for 30 plus years, got to meet quite a few talents and over the years has had this to say. With actors, it is usually the complete opposite with them, to play a good villain they're usually the nicest people on the planet, look at Steve Buscemi. To play a real ditz usually the person is extremely smart, look at Lisa Kudrow. And I know from experience, that more often than not, the person playing the bubbly, sweet, kind person, is usually an not a flight attendant but my father worked for an airline for over 30 years and shared this story with me based on one of his colleagues experiences. On a flight from JFK to Heathrow post 9-11, while the plane was about 4th or 5th in line for takeoff an American lady demanded to be let off the plane. The attendant naturally refused since the doors were closed and they were almost at the runway. The lady went nuts and called 911 from her cell phone and said she was an American citizen being held against her will on a foreign airline and they were about to take off and she was going to be taken to another country. In about three to four minutes police and FBI vans surrounded the plane, pulled her out and grounded the flight pending further investigation. In the end she was just a nutjob who ruined everyone's flight. 
TLDR, crazy American lady calls 911 before takeoff, says she is being kidnapped, feds surround plane, flight gets cancelled.